learning is as old as humankind. Indeed, curiosity and the capacity to learn are. Hello, welcome to our channel. Today we have a lesson which is about reading, the development of human learning. We have this kind of learning in this one. So let's just leave the touch point that was just subscribe. Instead of Asia, which is very dangerous, so that's an added face to look for the YouTube. Let me just tell you, so let's look at how we get the answer to the question. The question is about the nexus of the exam and the baccalaureate, and the exam and the exam. The exam and the exam and the exam and the exam and the reading lessons. Okay, let's move to this one. With your neighbor, or your classmate, or your friend, discuss the following points, then share your ideas with all class of Not You have this one. How do illiterate people learn different things? And pass on their knowledge to others. وكيف يقومون بتمرير المعلومات التي تتعلموها ل يعني اخرين نحاول ان نناقش الافكار يعني او نحاول ان نعرف كيف مجموعات افكار التي تتعلق بهذه النقطه مثلا نتعلمون انطلاقا من ملاحظه الاشياء انطلاقا من الجلوس مع ناس اخرين يعرفون اكثر منهم ثم يتعلمون منهم وينقلون كذلك انطلاقا من الحديث Okay, so I have an example. Paragraph in English. Or I'm going to show you a little bit on Facebook. Number two, what are the modern tools? What are the modern tools of learning? What are the modern tools of learning? And which one of them do you frequently use? So what are the ما يعني الوسائل التي تستعملها أنت كمتعلم في طرق في التعلم نحاول أن نكتب باراجراف و نصلح الصفحة من أجل التفاعل Now let's read the title of the text and write two or three questions that you think the text is going to answer نحاول أن نكتب يعني واحدة جوجة نتبع لها الأسئلة اللي ممكن أنها نص يجاوب عليها نص يتشاهدوا The development of human learning. 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 Learning is as old as humankind. Indeed, curiosity and the capacity to learn are among the defining characteristics of what it means to be human. For many hundreds of generations, people learn only through their own experience and to a, a, leisure, a lesser okay, extent through the observation of others. Gradually, however, as languages become more complex and sophisticated, it was possible to codify what had been learned by previous generations and in distant locations, and to pass on information about unseen phenomena in most early cultures, which relied on oral transmissions of knowledge. People had highly evolved capacities for listening and for remembering. However, compared with most people living today in advanced modern societies, the amount and complexity of information to be dealt with by an average human being was clearly bounded and relatively slowly changing. With the invention of writing, it became it become possible to it became possible 
to pass on insights and experiences over greater distance and a larger number of generations. However, at the same time, at the amount of information that an individual could acquire expanded significantly, life expectancy also increased and many people found that they had more pleasure time in which to think to learn when people live longer. It became it became possible. It became possible for the older people and those not directly directly engaged in the immediate social tasks and duties to spend the time thinking and learning through observation and mediation. The jersey, of course, itself became a tool that separated people so that those who lacked the ability to dis decipher hierarchy hieroglyphs and later other forms of writings were forced to fall back on traditional means learning about their environments and passing on such information to others in their family, charitable or community groups or group. To some extent to some extent, it is true that modern human beings have exactly the same mental capacity and endowments as did our ancient ancestors. But with better health, longer life spans, more leisure time, and various kinds of adaptive and supportive, supportive technologies, the, capaci the capability and propensity toward learning for outlife have expanded significantly over recent generations. Today, learning is perhaps not as much as a matter of life and death as it was for our distant ancestors. Nevertheless, most people have some natural inclination to learn and with the time and means at their disposal, learning is an important, if often unrecognized, aspect of our lives. Much of this learning occurs in accidentally and is unplanned. In the course of doing something else, indeed, when asked, many people fail to recognize this as learning as well. But the learning, however, is more in intentional and deliberate some of it is formalized in the sense that there is some explicit instruction and very commonly some assessment of learning outcomes but very large proportion or proportion of its planned managed and evaluated by the individual head or herself of this, some depends on participating in or observing particular activities. Some depends on interactions with other people, either individually or in groups. And some on reading and writing. In all these cases, the learner requires certain skills and attributes if his or her learning is progressive. Progress successfully now بعد خير النص نحاول اننا يعني نرجعوا للاسئله اللي طرحنا قبل بدايه القراءه ونشوفوا واش فعلا يعني النص قدم لنا اجابات على الاسئله ديالنا او لا نقدم اجابات it's more to each of the following charts corresponding to a paragraph in the text read paragraphs 1 2 and 4 and match each of them with the appropriate chart. How do I know? We are going to one, two, and four. How do I know? We are going to put them in one chart. We are going to put them in one chart. Okay? 
12. Details information, informal learning, non-formal learning, formal learning, listening and remembering, experiencing, observing others, observing and thinking, oral and writing. Take for example, three minutes to do this exercise. Okay? Pause the video and return back to the text. Here are the answers. Number one is B, paragraph B. Number two, paragraph C, and number four, paragraph A. Okay. Paragraph four, A. Paragraph one, B, and paragraph two, C. Now let's move to the next one. Answer the following the questions from the text. Before the invention of writing, Kabla, Tishef, Akitaba. That were the most used means of learning and transmitting information. What what were? Number two, find at least three factors that contribute to the growth of a human tendency to learn. How many factors? I think that Number three, what does this in paragraph four refer to? Alamata Tahud, this, fi, unless. Let's try to answer number one. Before the invention of writing, what were the most used means of learning and transmitting information? In Asian, the name in Tamil, but it's in the film, Egypt. دائما نرجع الى النص ثم قراءة والبحث عن الجواب المناسب مثلا هنا نتحدث عن يعني الوسيلة التي كان يستعملها الناس للتعلم ونقل المعرفة Learning is as old as human can be indeed curiosity and capacity to curiosity are among the defining characters of what it means to be human uh, for many hundred generations, people learned generations only through their only through their own experience and and to a lesser extent. Okay, through the observation of Abraham al Mulahada Ali Fakadim experience and observation gradually, however, as language so. Jodina on observation and experience. Let's move to number two. Find at least three factors that contribute to the growth of human tendency to learn. More on how many factors? I'll call any factors. The last one is the structure. The shape of the muscle of the arm, and the color of the skin. Jua. With the with the invention of writing, it's between. Possible to pass on insights and experience over greater distance and a large number of generations. However, at the same time, other amounts of information that an individual could acquire expansively, life expectancy also increased, and many people found that they had more leisure time. People had more leisure time, and even it's for has in Sanya, unless we let's go to Farano, work here. وقت الفراغ لأنه يعني تستخدم التطور خطوة في بعض الوقت which in which to think and to learn اللي خلناهم وقت كذلك فين تتعلموا فين تذكروا when people live to longer and the occasion is accept it's become possible for the old people the old people and those not directly engaged in the immediate social tasks and duties to spend time thinking on their own observation and mediation. Any. بحكم أن ارتفعت نسبة ديال يعني the same time amount of information ديال نسبة المعلومات اللي تتوفر لنا الناس يعني ارتفعت بحكم التطور وكذلك expectancy الناس توقعات الناس حتى هما زادو زدنا العام الثالث هو ان الوقت الفراغ كاين بشكل كبير
example. Now let's move to what does this important formula for refer to the amount of this تعود في الجملة اللي فيها بعد كان القوة جملة اللي قبلنا مباشرة. For example, نقرأ جملة فيها. A very large proportion of it is planted. A very large proportion of it is planted, managed and evaluated by the individual him or herself. هاد ديسني أتكون كتير. هنا لأن اسم نقرأ الجملة ونقرأ هو الاسم الكيني for self, for himself. كتعودنا على individual ولكن هنا أفعال it it of it كتعودنا على large proportion so this كتعودنا على large proportion okay let's move now with without looking لا ما نشوفه لا ما نعرف نقرأ النص هذا التكس write down the main ideas then compare them to your partner حول لنا نقرأ شو النص ونقش بين الأفكار اللي بقاو بسقلنا في الراس ديالنا ديالك اللي تلاقنا للنص من قبل ونحاول نقرنهم ها ما يعني الأفكار اللي تكتب صديق Now let's move to look at the following sources of information and draw A chart showing the importance to you. How many should I know? I mean, what the most related to some of the time? Gear reading, watching TV, using the internet. Or how many was on charts? Combining them, how many can I learn? The most related to what's known as a channel. And Facebook. Share your chart with your neighbor and give them. How many is there now? How many is in show? Any news for the most credible now? نشاركون داكشي اللي كتبنا ونشاركون لنا الافكار ديالكم باش نزيدو نجمعو افكار اكثر نتواصلو في القناه كون ضغطو على زر الاعجاب وزر سبسكرايب وتفعيل جرس المتابعه على اليوتيوب